Hey, what's going on, guys? I am Fos Favorite here, and welcome to another episode of Lonely Survival. Now we have a nice aerial view of the massive storage project we are going to be taking on, and uh, we're going to start this thing today. Now it's going to require a lot of digging, uh, first of all, because it's going to go pretty far down, because that right there is the border of the top piece. Like, that's going to have, that's just all there for visual. All the storage stuff is going to be down uh, more at this level. So, we're going to have bulk storage, we're going to have storage of all kinds, we're going to have deep storage. Um, like with uh, shulker boxes, I just got to go out and get a ton of shulker boxes. But as you can see, I've started to clear out um, the, the dirt right here. Because um, what we're going to do in today's episode is we're going to clear out all of this dirt. Oh yeah, and I put these guys in a really bad spot, so let's just dig around them real quick, so I know not to destroy their their pens. And down here, that's gonna be quite a bit of dirt to clear out, because like as you can see, it's about four layers of dirt. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Uh. I'll catch you guys when I have some decent progress made because this is just gonna take an absurd amount of time and an absurd amount of resources and in fact if I can do this without killing myself yep flying through the home it's a smart idea um, right here I have some resources put together for the amount of stuff we're going to uh, need for this so let's grab that and actually now that I think about it, I have more glass in here that we're going to need. Yeah. Oh, and also, uh, in between episodes, I got the other side of the super smelter hooked up. Uh, same, like, distribution system, but uh, it's got a different, it's got a separate collection system. Because this minecart simply took too long to get around um, the edges. Or to get around to collect them on a consistent basis. Because I'd get, like, stuff backing up in the system. Um, and in fact, I forgot to block that back off, but that's beside the point. We're not doing that right now. We're going to, uh, clear a lot of dirt. Yeah. I'll catch you guys when I'm, uh, dead. Just on the inside from so much dirt. I, I'm just going to be drowning in dirt. I'm never going to need dirt again. Uh, and uh, some gravel. I'll catch you guys. Ah, stupid. What is with the... Jeez. And I'll, I'll have like a ton of ghost blocks. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys soon. I'm just rambling now. Alright guys, I am back and I have made a significant chunk of progress. Let's take a look at this from the sky. Yeah. That about just about halfway done with the dirt section. Obviously it's gonna go much farther down with the uh let's see if I can come in for a landing here. Take a look from up here. Um yeah, so we've got most of it actually dug out, we're just gonna dig out to there. I just have to go repair my diamond shovel. Um, because, yeah, I don't want it to break. It's a good diamond shuffle. And, uh, if I didn't mention it in the... I don't think I mentioned it, this in the last clip, but this is the map room. It's going to be very large. Uh, just to uh, give it... I... That's kind of weird. That's kind of that's cool. <laughs> it's a fidget spinner. Woo! Um... Anyways, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't think I, you yeah, know, I didn't show this off, but this is going to be the map room. Uh, I got I gotta, I to get the glowstone to fill in uh, here. Uh, it's, it's a pretty simple design. 
Yeah, it's. I mean, it's kind of like the the storage room for the uh, the mob drops. I've got a a little bit, just uh, not exactly because obviously it's not the same size. And we've kind of got like this little stairs uh, here, which I may change um, as time goes on. But yeah, that's that. I got to go repair my shovel, and I will catch you guys when I have finished clearing out the dirt, um, so we can start to work on the walls. Uh, and work out like where the, the actual storage modules and the first level um, of the system is going to go. <sighs> now that I think about it, probably should build an Ender Ender sometime soon. Because waiting for Blaze is just absurdly annoying. Because this farm is not fast at all. Because there's like always a bunch in like the holding cell that can just like die faster. But yeah, I think I need an ender ender sometime soon. Because this I, I've been here for quite a while and it's just it's not going fast enough for me. More plans, <laughs> more future plans. <sighs> hey guys, I am back and we have finished clearing this thing of dirt now this thing is going to be mega you can see my shovel i just repaired this thing it is already like it took a beating like really badly but uh i think we're ready to start building um this is gonna be very interesting because i have these boxes or these shulker boxes right here um, we're gonna grab some polished andesite because it does use a lot of polished andesite. Um, we're gonna grab a couple st stacks of glass and a few stacks of dark oak wood, and uh, we're gonna start to build this. Now I'm gonna start uh, over here because it's closer to the ground. Um, let me just get away out of here. Um, now I came with this design in a creative testing world. So, and we're going to be building it block for block. Now, I just got to do that. And let me go grab some netherrack, actually, because I need it for scaffolding. That's right here. We have... Grab a few stacks of that. That was pretty cool. We'll be able to do that like in better, like it'll be really cool. Anyways, all right. Now let's uh, some scaffolding here, because what I did in my creative testing world, let's do that. Is it was like this, and like the, this is going to be the quote unquote ground level is um, going to be the block underneath this will be the quote unquote ground level because that's where I built it in my creative testing world and we'll kind of terraform the land or make the building look uh, kind of like it kind of conforms. But um, underneath this block right here is the quote unquote ground layer because that, that's the ground layer, layer of the creative testing world. Um, so from here we go one, two, three. Oh, you can break another rack pretty fast. Um, and then you place those and you go one, two, three. Place the andesite around that. And yeah, lag spikes. What the heck is going on? Why am I getting so much lag here? What is going on? Holy crap, why am I getting so many lag spikes? I might have to restart my computer. But anyways, it's supposed to go up to... Yeah, wow, I am... Hold on. Uh... Let's turn Fast Render on. Yeah. Ugh, oh, lag spike still. What the heck is... That's... Uh, let me fix this, and I will be back. All right, guys, I seem to have figured it out. It was just uh, being stupid. Anyways, uh, as you can see, we're using the netherrack as kind of like a uh, um, 
uh, like an internal uh, scaffolding here. Um, eventually, I may get rid of it. Um, that should line up right with that. All right. Um, but I, I, I didn't do the bottom one on that one. Shoot. That's... Uh, how am I going to do this here? I guess I could just like this. Alright. There we go. Alright. Uh, oops. Okay. That happened. Anyways, uh, I need to come down here anyways. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the, the corner. Okay, good. Now this is going to be the arch that kind of holds this uh, thing. Uh, like, it's not going to be like... Or it's going to be a very large arch. It's going to be like kind of like a barrel arch. If, uh, you know what I mean? Like it's going to go all the way down. But like right here, it's going to have like a curved corner. And this part right here is going to go up and connect right there. Or actually uh, directly above it. And that's going to run the length of the, uh, the build. Now let me get one of these modules in here. Because like it's, I'm going to take this, put it right there. Um, if I can place the block. Uh, and then I'll show you like what I'm going to do with the... Uh, centerpiece and uh, how like the, the stuff is going to fit in there um, so yeah let me get that done and I will cut right back to you all right guys I am back and I'm gonna show you the design that I came up with in my creative testing world now this is this design um, is uh, honest I didn't get to grab the stairs wow I'm Really on top of things. Um, uh, da -da 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 did I, I did not even make any stairs. Do I have stairs in here? Yes, I do. All right. Uh, and now at this point we're gonna sleep. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have like massive windows. That's why I have all the glass. Um, there's gonna be massive windows in the center of these that kind of like run all the way up to the top, and then there's gonna be one massive skylight um, that runs down the length. Um, so let's get this in here and I can't place blocks. So let's get that in like that. And then now we're going to have something that's a little bit like this. And then glass is going to go in here. And now this looks kind of plain. So to spice it up, I have the dark oak stairs that are going to go here and here. And there's going to be slabs that run the length just like that. Uh, now I need to use my scaffolding blocks and to get up and do this. And we're going to run slabs across like that just to give it a little bit more character and not just be uh, just straight up glass. So yeah, that's what it's going to look like from the side. Um, I don't know, uh, like where the storage is, like the first like level, it's going to be kind of like a loft thing. It's going to be like walkways around the edge and it's going to be really open in the middle and you're going to be able to see down it, like down, uh, the storage system. Cause the storage system's all going to be down underground. Um, so I don't know where like the first level is going to be. And once I figure that out, um, I can determine whether or not I want to put windows in this. Uh, block right there because it goes down as you can see right here uh, and this may have a storage thing like right here and the sorters out the back obviously will stick out because you know the impulse SV storage system you need three blocks for the chest and then the, the hoppers that run into the chests and then you need like an extra like four blocks for the impulse SV item sorter so I might do terraforming uh, like above this to kind of like blend it in but yeah, that's the general um, idea for like the arches, and uh, I want actually want to get the rest of this arch in. So, time for elytra derps because I fight duration three. But you can see it's gonna be a very like nice arch. Let's see if I can land on this thing. Ooh, wow, that was actually good. And now, like obviously, right around the corner, the quote-unquote corner of the arch is a little different. Um. But uh, I think it still looks good. Um, 
and let me know down in the comments section uh, how, what, like, uh, your thoughts on this. And Because uh, this thing is going to be pretty massive, if I do say so myself. Like, this storage system, like, uh, it's not as cool as Mumbo Jumbo's uh, Season 5 Hermitcraft uh, idea for his storage system, but it's probably going to be just as massive, so... Yeah, and uh, I don't remember putting things there. So yeah, this is going to be one of the arches. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. It's kind of got like a the difference between um, the andesite, uh, the dark oak, and it's it's got the same theme as like the rest of the base. Um, so I think it's going to be cool. And now I'm going to put this corner thing in here uh, and get this main arch. Uh, right here, like the one of the main supporting arches in, uh, and then I'll cut right back to you and uh, yeah, and we'll uh, see how it looks uh, actually in world. All right, guys, I didn't get all of that like the the, the whole thing that I wanted to in. Oh, I just missed that. Wow, um, because I think uh, I think we've made enough progress for this episode. Um, my hands hurt from just holding down left click uh, because just tearing out tons and tons of dirt is killer on the hands um, so uh, one thing I did forget uh, when I was building this arch is that there are stone brick uh, stairs that go right there that adds a bit more uh, texture variation and um, adds a bit more depth to the build um, I need slab of jeppies now I need to make a few of those because we're going to use a lot of them. Uh, give me slabs. Uh, I just wanted to do this real quick right here. Um, this uh, part of the, uh, the the build is not going to be really used um, as the corner is it's kind of hard to put a storage system in the uh, the corner the corner of something. Like right here, this will probably just be for like um, uh, I'll have like a like bit of decoration in this corner because like the the, the level is going to come around. I don't know at, at which uh, Y level yet, um, but I'll figure that out in between episodes and get this corner in because this corner piece um, is very confusing and I'm going to be hopping in between worlds and it wouldn't be uh, great video content uh, if I do say so myself. Um, now, one thing before we go, I don't have the glowstone on me, um, but let's just pillar up here. Um, when I do have glowstone, um, it will be placed uh, in the middle of this to get off light. I just I don't have the glowstone with me right now, um, but that'll be on all of the things around the side, and that's ugly, so that can go away now. Um, and there will be, a, I guess I'll do it right now. Um, there are upside down stairs that need to go on, oops, on all of these portions right here. In fact, I forgot this one. Just like that, and then obviously the stairs. I'm not going to have like the uh, the the slabs going across it. Uh, on the inside because it just does not look good. Um, I toyed with it and it just it didn't ended up looking good. So we'll be sticking uh, far away from putting slabs on the inside. Uh, in this point right here, um, I'll it's a little interesting. Um, it's but it's gonna basically do that, and I think slabs or something right there. Um, and this would be uh, do this on the other side, um, but I'm going to end the episode here because my hand is starting to hurt and I'm hungry. So uh, hit that like button if you liked. Leave a comment. I do appreciate it. Uh, and hit the subscribe button. It means a ton and is much appreciated. Uh, any support is amazing um, because this would not be possible without uh, you guys. So, anyways. This has been I am Fosa 508. 
uh, that's the wrong outro. Um, I'm copying someone else. Anyways, I'm Post548 signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.